No more selling of hand out. They must write and create for the nation. Did you know that Sinumbu is not only a masterful politician, but also a holder of several chieftaincy titles? He is known as the Ashiwaju of Lagos, the Jagaban of Bogo, and the Are Ago of Egbaland, just to mention a few. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. In this video, we'll be revealing 10 fascinating things you probably didn't know about the new president-elect of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. This political icon has been making waves in Nigeria's political scene for decades, but there is so much more to him than meets the eye. Join us as we take you on a journey through Tinumbu's life and uncover some of the most interesting facts about him that you probably had no idea about. From his humble beginnings to his rise to power, we'll explore his achievements, challenges, controversies, and personal life, giving you an inside look into one of Nigeria's most prominent political figures. If this is your first time visiting, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Number 10. The Godfather of Lagos The one and only Tinumbu has always been a controversial figure. But did you know that his true roots might be a bit different than what he claims? Despite his insistence on being from Lagos State, rumors have circulated for years that he's actually from Oshun State. Recently, a former military governor of Ondo State, Bode George, dropped a bombshell in an exclusive interview with Sunday Punch, revealing that Tinubu's claim of being from Lagos are false. George urged Tinubu to come clean and admit that he's actually from Irakwiji in the Borinpe local government area of Oshun State. But the mystery surrounding Tinubu's true origins doesn't stop there. Many Lagosians have criticized his Yoruba accent, which seems to lack the distinct sound of a true Lagosian. And if that's not enough, his birth date has also come under scrutiny, with some claiming that he may be older than he claims. Unfortunately, the lack of official birth record from that era means that we may never know for sure where Tinubu truly comes from or how old he really is. But one thing is for certain, his controversial legacy as the godfather of Lagos will continue to fascinate and intrigue for years to come. Number 9. Behind every great man is a great woman. And in the case of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, that woman was his mother, Alaja Abibatu Mogaji. Mogaji was not just any woman, she was the former Iya Lodja of Lagos, a vocal leader of the Market Women's Association and the successor to the powerful Alimotu Pelewura. Mogaji's contributions to trading in Nigeria were so significant that she received numerous national awards from the federal government of Nigeria, as well as honorary doctorate degrees from prestigious universities in Nigeria such as Amadobelo University and the University of Lagos. Her impact on Nigerian society was immeasurable, and her legacy continues to live on today. Sadly, Mogaji passed away at the age of 96 at her home in Ikeja, the capital of Lagos State. But her powerful influence did not end there. Her granddaughter, Folashade, succeeded her as Iyaloja of Nigeria, following in the footsteps of her formidable grandmother. It's clear that Tinubu inherited his mother's tenacity and influence, but perhaps not her academic accolades. Nevertheless, his mother's legacy as a powerful and influential figure in Lagos State lives on and continues to inspire generations to come. Number 8. Did you know that despite being a Muslim, Bala Ahmed Tinubu's wife, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, is an ordained pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God? That's right. In 2018, Oluremi Tinubu was ordained during the Church 66 annual convention with her husband in attendance. Senator Remy Tinubu has been involved in politics and public service for several years and has served as councillor, local government chairman, and commissioner in Lagos State. Despite her Christian faith, she has been married to Bola Ahmed Tinubu for many years and the couple have been known to attend events and functions together. Although the ordination of Oluremi Tinubu has caused a stir within the Christian community in Nigeria, it highlights the diversity of religious beliefs and practices within the Tinubu family. In fact, Tinubu once said, in our bedroom, my wife put her holy bible beside my holy Quran, and one thing I discover is that both books stay with each other peacefully without quarreling. Number 7. Bola Ahmed Tinubu was forced into exile during the military regime of General Sani Abacha. This was a difficult period for Tinubu, who was then a senator representing Lagos West Senatorial District. Following General Sani Abacha's seizure of power to become the military head of state, Tinubu went into exile in 1994, but later returned to the country in 1998 after the death of military detector which ushered in the transition to the 4th Nigerian Republic. During his exile, Tinubu lived in the United States, where he continues to agitate for democracy and human rights in Nigeria. After his return to Nigeria, Tinubu became involved in the Alliance for Democracy AD party, and he was later elected governor of Lagos State in 1999. He served two consecutive terms as governor from 1999 to 2007. Describing his exile journey, Tinubu in an interview said, I disguised with a huge Toban and Babaringa and escaped into Benin Republic on a motorbike. My own outside friend gave the clues to me. In fact, 
attacked. When I appeared to Kudira's Abiola, she didn't know I was the one. Number 6. Despite being married to Oluremi since 1987, rumors abound that she may not be Tinubu's first wife. In fact, Tinubu has fathered 6 children, but only 3 of them, Zainab, Habibat and Olayinka, are with Oluremi. Reports suggest that the politician may have had a previous relationship that resulted in the birth of his first three children, with his rumored first wife who was known simply as Mama by her neighbors as Abraham Adesoya Estate in Lagos. Although little is known about her, multiple anonymous sources claim she passed away in 2018. It's no surprise that Tinubu has kept quiet about his previous relationships, only acknowledging Oluremi as his wife publicly. But with a player like Tinubu, it's anyone's guess what other secrets he may be keeping. Despite the intrigue surrounding his love life, there is no denying that Tinubu is a powerful force in Nigerian politics and his personal relationships are just one aspect of his complex and fascinating life. Number 5. Tinubu is not just a wealthy politician, he is also a proud owner of a private jet that reportedly cost a whopping $50 million. This sleek and stylish aircraft is a 16-passenger capacity, large cabin, and ultra-long-range business jet that was produced by the extinct Bobandia Aerospace in Toronto to Canada with a production run of only 163 units from 2005 to 2012. This jet is an ultra-rare commodity that only a select few can afford. Interestingly, this is not the first time Tinubu has acquired a private jet. He previously owned a Global 6000 Express jet that was purchased to avoid refueling during long-haul journeys. This jet can fly long intercontinental ranges without refueling, making it the perfect travel companion for someone with Tinubu's busy schedule. With such exceptional transportation, it's no wonder that he was able to cover more states in Nigeria than any of his political rivals during his presidential campaign. It is clear that Tinubu's private jet is more than just a status symbol. It is a practical investment that enables him to attend to his political and business commitments with ease. With a $50 million jet, he can jet set around the world in style and comfort, leaving no room for excuses. Number 4. Long before Bola Ahmed Tinubu became the prominent politician that he is today, he was an accountant. Yes, he worked for the Mobile Oil Corporation as an accountant in Nigeria before going into politics. He first spent two years gaining an associate degree at Richard J. Daly College in Chicago. From there, he proceeded on to Chicago State University where he studied accounting, completing his bachelor's degree in 1979. Subsequently, he got a job as an accountant at Mobile Oil Nigerian Limited in Fairfax, Virginia. We are not sure how much he was making, but we can be sure he didn't have $50 million to spend on a jet at the time. Or did he? Find out in number 3. Number 3. Bala Ahmed Tinubu, the former governor of Lagos State and prominent Nigerian politician, has had a dark past that many people may not know about. His rise to fame and fortune is so controversial, and this is evident in the fact that he was involved in an unconventional line of work that led to his assets being frozen by the US government in 1993. According to court documents, Tinubu's American bank accounts were suspected to be holding the proceeds of heroin dealings and his assets were subsequently frozen. Despite earning a modest salary of $2,400 a month as an accountant with no other known sources of income, bank records from First Heritage Bank revealed that Tinubu deposited $661,000 into his individual money account in 1990, followed by a further $1,216,500 in 1991. After settling with the government, Tinubu forfeited about $460,000 $60,000 later that year. Court documents and later reporting on the case suggested that he worked in cohorts with two Chicago heroin dealers. The discovery sheds new light on Tinubu's past and raises important questions about his involvement in illegal activities, especially given his recent political pursuits. Number 2. The Tinubu family is known to keep their personal lives private, especially when it comes to their children. However, one of Bola Ahmed Tinubu's offspring, Habibas Oyidamola Tinubu, has been making headlines recently. Initially, all that was known about the politician's fifth child was that she graduated from Berkeley College of Music in Boston in 2013 and bought a luxurious apartment in New York worth $2.4 million in cash at the age of 22. But now, the talented musician has stepped into the limelight, making waves with her unique sound and style. Habiba, who prefers to go by her middle name Oyinda, has been captivating audiences with her futuristic and soulful R&B music. Raised in London and based in New York, she is not just a musician, but also a fashion model, having worked with several high-end fashion brands. Beyond her artistic talent, she is also an advocate for the LGBTQ community, speaking for queer, gay, and trans rights. With her multifaceted talent and commitment to important causes, Habibat Oyinda Tinubu is undoubtedly a rising star to watch. Number 1. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one of the wealthiest and most influential politicians in Nigeria. 
but his true net worth remains shrouded in mystery. Despite this, there is no denying that Tinubu has amassed a vast array of assets which are the envy of many. His impressive business portfolio includes ownership of companies like Owando PLC, Lagos Oriental Hotel, Renances Hotel, Television Continental and Radio Continental. He also owns the Nation newspaper, Ikeja City Mall, Seji Show Market, Falomo Shopping Complex and several other lucrative properties across Lagos. Tinubu's prized possession is Alpha Beta Consulting, a company that has been the subject of most controversy and has allegedly helped him amass a large portion of his wealth. In addition to his business ventures, Tinubu is also known for his opulent lifestyle. He resides in a luxurious property on Bodilon Road, Ikoi, Lagos State, valued at over 650 million naira. His impressive fleet of vehicles include a Land Range Rover worth over 40 million naira and a Toyota Prado SUV worth over 50 million naira. With his extensive collection of assets and properties, it's no wonder that Tinubu's net worth is estimated to be between 4 to 8 billion dollars. Though his exact wealth may remain a mystery, one thing is clear Tinubu's power and influence in Nigeria are not to be underestimated. And there you have it. That is our list of 10 things you probably didn't know about Tinubu. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below.